Hi, I'm John Lewis, and I'm with the Beekeepers of the Northern Shenandoah. And we're going to do some instructional videos today on some basic bee beekeeping, beginning beekeeping tasks. The first thing I'd like to demonstrate for you is how to build uh, a frame. Because the bee beekeeping frame, the uh, building of a good beekeeping frame is an essential skill for uh, the starting beekeeper. Before I get started, I want to point out, or I want to uh, give you a couple of pieces of terminology. This is the top bar of a frame. Uh, now, on the top bar, you notice that there's going to be a slot, and then there's going to be a piece that's, that will pop off. This is called the cleat. Okay, so the top bar and the cleat. These are the bottom bars. You notice it has a wide slit in it. Uh, and I'll show you where, how that fits together just in a few minutes. Uh, sometimes some of the producers, uh, the woodenware producers, will sell you a top bar in two pieces. That's just two strips, but um, this is a one-piece top bar, and these are the side bars. Now I'm going to talk today uh, using medium frames. Uh, there are also shallow frames and deep frames that can be used under other circumstances, but we recommend using mostly medium frames uh, because it's uh, universally, uh, the frames fit universal boxes. Okay, the first thing I'd like to do in uh, demonstrating the building of a frame is uh, putting in eyelets. Now we're going to demonstrate today using uh, building a frame that you're going to be putting wax into, natural beeswax, uh, wired beeswax. I'll say at the outset that that's not your only option. If doing wooden work is just not your thing uh, and you want to pay a little bit more and use plastic, you can. Most of the manufacturers will sell you a pre-built frame uh, that comes with a piece of uh, plastic honeycomb uh, in it. I will say that um, uh, they're, they're about twice as expensive um, and uh, the bees don't like them quite as much. Uh, the bees won't work them if they have uh, a choice to work natural beeswax or the plastic. They'd prefer natural beeswax. So my own choice is to build and work with natural beeswax. First, you're going to need your frame parts, your top bars, the bottom bars, and the side bars. Uh, you're going to need some eyelets. Now, I have a big bowl of eyelets here, but these are just little metal uh, brass or zinc eyelets. You're going to need a good stout hammer. And I'd recommend uh, a lighter tack hammer. The glue that we're going to recommend you use is a Tight Bond 2. Uh, this is a waterproof glue, and once it, once it seals, uh, the strength of this glue is, on wood is considerably stronger than the nails you're going to be using. You'll need uh, some framing wire. This is a large spool. You won't need quite that much. Uh, but it's also smart to have on hand a wet cloth, a wet rag, um, and sometimes a um, set of needle nose pliers comes in handy as well. There's some other tools we're going to use, but for starters, that'll get us going. We're going to use my back porch today in a table, but I'll tell you for the most part, uh, I do these, uh, do my frame buildings on winter evenings uh, using my uh, kitchen counter. Uh, if you're using a kitchen counter, it's a good idea to put something on top of it so uh, you're uh, not marring the, the formica or the marble or whatever you have. Okay, first step is to take a knife and you're going to insert it underneath that cleat and just being careful, uh, slice the cleat, that little thin strip, off the top bar and you're going to set the cleat aside. Next, we're going to go to our top or our sidebars. Um, now, this step I do in um, uh, do a lot of these at once. And what you're going to do is take one of these little eyelets and put it on uh, a medium-sized nail. You're going to insert the nail through the side of the sidebar there, uh, and I just like to lean it over the side and seat uh, that little eyelet. Okay. We're going to just, you're going to thread one eyelet on, put it over the side, and just seat it. So you'll end up with two eyelets just on one side. You don't need to do both sides, just one side of each sidebar. Now they also make a special little eyelet uh, tool that you can use uh, where you put the eyelet on, 
and tap it in. Uh, either works just as well. I use one and then the other. I'm not sure there's one of them is better. Okay. So again, I'm going to seat some eyelets here. So we'll have a another set of frames to do with do this with. I tend to do these eyelets all in one step. Uh, so I'll seat um, the uh, eyelets for 50 or 100 frames at one time. Okay. Now we've got eyelets on one side of uh, the sidebars. Now you'll notice the, the sidebar has a little waist to it. There's a wide part and a narrow part. The narrow part is going to go at the bottom. Uh, the wide part is going to go up at the top. So what you're going to do is start with some glue. You're going to put glue on the top bar in that little groove where you're going to see the sidebar is going to fit. You don't have to be bashful about using the glue uh, because with a rag you're going to take off extra. Second step is you're going to take the wide part of that top bar there, or the sidebars, and you're going to insert them down into that groove. And you'll find that they seat very nicely and uh, hold themselves in place. Next step, we're going to take some nails. And we're going to use two nails on each side. And you're going from the top bar down into the top or into the uh, top part of the sidebar. People say that the nails are really there to give the glue time to seat uh, and to harden. Uh, the truth is both the nails and the uh, glue provide strength to the frame. Next step, we're going to go to the bottom bar. So we have We've got the top bar in place. Now you notice we're going to turn it over and we're going to put some more glue down in the groove, again in the side bar. Next we're going to look at the bottom bar and you're going to see there's a piece on the side here that's kind of a little thicker and a place where it's thinner. You're going to want the thinner facing toward the top bar and you're going to seat that in place in the glue that you just put put there and one or two more nails I'm getting lucky this morning because all my nails are going in straight. Okay, now you're going to want to take that wet rag you have and wipe off. There's going to be some excess glue uh, dripping off and you're going to want to wipe that down. So anywhere you have excess glue, you want to take that off. <laughs> 